So the thing about discernment is, is um, discernment doesn't come by um, looking at the false, right? You know, I've taught you before, if you're going to make counterfeit money, let's say, you don't do that by looking at fake money. You do that by looking at the genuine and the real, right? So if you're going to counterfeit 100, you look at a $100 bill and you study that. And in fact, for people to spot what is counterfeit, they compare it to the real. Okay, so I want to tell you, if we're going to grow, if we're going to walk in the sermon this time, there's two things that we absolutely have to have. You've got to have wisdom from God, and you have to have the Spirit of God. You, you need both. You need to know what He says, what the Word says, and you need to know how to apply it, like what to do with it, which is what the Holy Spirit comes to help us do. He comes to help lead and guide us into all truth. That's John 16, 13. He is the guide. He leads us into all truth. So to just have the scripture and not use it would be like, you know, Satan coming to Jesus when he comes out of the wilderness and Jesus knew the word, but he didn't say it back. He didn't have the discernment to know, okay, I need to speak the word of God back. There was this marriage of the two. And so we just believe we got to be equipped with the word and with the spirit both. You can't have one without the other to make it in this moment. So uh, let me just tell you, if we're going to understand the time, listen, fear right now, we keep telling you, it's not your friend. Fear is just simply misplaced faith. So faith in the word, in the eternal truth, that looks different than what fear does. Fear reacts, truth just responds. Truth settles your heart to things like be anxious for nothing, but in all things through prayer and supplication, make your request known to God. And the peace of God, which passes, transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and mind through one Christ Jesus. That settles my heart because that's the truth. But if I begin to get sucked into fear, if I begin to fill my mind with, if I begin to watch, to scroll through endless social media posts or TV stations, let me tell you, whatever I'm going to fill my mind in, whatever fuels my, whatever I'm putting fuel to, that's what's going to live. So if I'm putting fuel, if I'm putting the Word of God in me right now, it's fueling. It is actually shaping the way I see and how I t interpret what's going on around me. And let me tell you, you're a people that are going to know the times and you're going to know what to do. That's the truth.